Okay, I'm gonna resort back to this droid. <laughs> Cause I'm not getting very good. I'm run now I'm running out of disk space on my uh, Windows X 7 over there. My computer is running like it's ready to die if you can hear it. It's running out of disk space, etc., etc., and I got a pretty good charge out of this last night. Uh, so, I'll start over again, I guess. Um, let's go where I was. Do the same video I just took. <sighs> Plus, I went over 17 minutes. I'd have to split the damn thing anyway. Okay, now. Come on. Cancel, damn it. Give me. Okay. I want to go into GNOME as a regular user. I should have just started there, so I've already wasted a minute. Alright, so, how do I get into this situation? Let's just try to explain this one more fucking time. <laughs> Hopefully I won't lose this video due to disk space or batteries. Um, what I wanted... I think I have it now, was my end result to be, and I don't, still don't have it, um, is, is when you move this thing, it'll jiggle. I've got the same exact hardware as, um, as another computer, same exact setup, um, and it's not doing that for some reason, and it may have something to do with the CompU settings, I have no idea, right now at least. But that was my intention, just to have these cool effects. I even saw something in Nopix where if you close something, the box will shatter into little pieces, okay? To get there, to deal with that, uh, what I did, or uh, uh, what you were supposed to do, and I didn't know at the time or didn't realize, is you right-click on the desktop. I remember doing this. I'm going to show myself. That's right-click. That shows up as a result. And I go change desktop background. And you say, well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, there's more to it than just the, the, the background. There's fonts, theme, and visual effects that aren't listed there. And then I do have extras checked off here. Uh, before I didn't, it just had none. So you check that off, then you close it. And that's all you're supposed to have to do. And when I did that on the other video, it checked for drivers and did something in X flash for a second there. And I think I got... Um, some kind of update to my driver or, or an update to my X and everything was okay at that point. Now, I, since I didn't know about that, what I ended up doing yesterday is thinking that because I don't have those jiggling um, boxes, uh, that um, must be that my, I don't have the right driver in here. It must be that I didn't select and install the proprietary driver. So I did that. KDE and you know it doesn't matter from Jack. Down here you select it. It's not apparent. I, I'm still a little bit out of sorts. I'm gonna a lot to explain as to what I did to try to deal with this. Then what I did is I went down to this um, system settings and then I went to um, one of two things that I did is I went to uh, monitor and display. And I went to hardware, I entered administrator mode. And then I went to hardware, I went to configure this, thinking that VESA was like a, yeah, like a generic driver that doesn't really have all the capabilities of, the, of my native driver. Clicked on configure, and uh, from a program that I can't get to here in KDE, it's some kind of device manager that I installed, that I could see in GNOME, told me that this was an ATI card, so I went up here to ATI, and I looked for a driver that looked kind of familiar, but didn't have the exact verbiage as what was coming up in the device manager, and then I select OK. Stupidly, I didn't pick test to let me revert back to what I had. And then for monitor, even though it says it's unknown, it, it's operating. And uh, the, the, the integration between these window managers and the system is... Uh, a little deceiving. <laughs> right now, KDE thinks there's no monitor, but 
X itself may think that, that it's a, a ViewSonic um, whatever model that is. I, mean, <laughs> I couldn't see it freaking around, but um, okay, there is a um, ViewSonic category here, but not for that model. I selected one that looked kind of like it. Again, I didn't pick test. I said okay, and I rebooted, and then I found myself in the situation that I was uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning of this <laughs> set of videos I'm doing here. And so, what what happened? Uh, just general rundown. What happened was that uh, when I boot in, the end result would be that either I would freeze up. In the place where it says "Welcome to KDE," or I would end up um, just having some kind of just a plain blue screen with a mouse, and I couldn't do anything. Right click, left click, nothing happens. No, no menu bar, nothing. That was it. So, and then when I tried to go into my um, terminals, which is where I was at when I was doing the other demo, um, the other video that cut off on me. Uh, I do usually when you're in this in, in Unix when you're in this situation and I don't know now that I have CompUs on I might not be able to do it um, you can go control alt and say F2 and it actually responded the way I expected here so I don't know really don't know <laughs> what kind of horrific mix I had but anyway I couldn't even do this and the, the, the benefit of having this situation is is not to get out of a perfectly usable uh, GUI interface, it's to get out of an unusable GUI interface. You boot in, everything's black. Um, you um, Or you have a garbled screen, or you don't have a mouse, or you, you, know, you can't operate for one reason or the other. Then you go over here, and then uh, you log in as root. I'm not going to go into the craziness with Ubuntu. This is like a I, I, I've got it to the point where it's a regular root session. It's not a pseudo session, you know, but, you know, if you have any familiarity with pseudo, you, you'll know how to do the equivalent thing that I am here. Then there's, uh, you can try to configure X, and I'm checking to see, I press tab to see if autocomplete came up and gave me choices as to what I might, I might want to do, um, or what, what's available. Both these apps are available, and the app X itself, and if you go like configure, I believe, without, without the caps, of course, but the X 